Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today on Keto and Kush, I will be showing my Keto Chicken Fajita recipe. This is by far one of my all time favorite keto dishes. When I first started keto, I made these for like a year straight. They are so delicious. I will be showing my tutorial after I eat a 60 milligram edible. So if you are interested to learn my recipe or simply to watch me interact on drugs, please stay tuned for the rest of the video. And if you're not, I'll see you later, skater. What the fajita? Hey, I was looking for that. Let's make fajitas. <laughs> Action. Oh, and I just want to say, I think we killed that um, on the intro. <laughs> Our little skit was rather silly. So today, we will be making keto chicken fajitas. So let's get into the recipe. First ingredient is an onion. You'll need a red and yellow bell pepper. You'll need some chicken. And some fajita sauce. So first we're going to chop up our onion and I'm just gonna do about half an onion. I don't know if this is the proper way to cut an onion. Oh, it's really in there. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I cut your cutting the other way. Okay. What do you want me to talk about? Whatever. Whatever's on your mind. Oh, okay. Great. 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 Can you see my face? Yes. Okay. So, can you also see me cutting the onion? No. Okay. <laughs> Here, let me back up. Okay. Ooh, yeah. That actually looks pretty good. Okay. Yes. You can see Ooh, I like that. Okay, okay. Put your hand behind your other hand. Okay, insurance-wise, we're not covered for this. Where's the workers' comp? Stop point? production! Stop <laughs> it! Stop filming! What marijuana does to people. She's bleeding pure marijuana. <laughs> My blood's just green and purple. This is also an ingredient when you're uh, here cooking with Katie. Cook on edibles at your own risk, kids. Is it really close to my face? No. Okay, are you lying? Can you see me cutting the, up the pepper? Yes. Okay. Um, not that I'm an unsafe chef, but one time my friend was over and I was making these fajitas and I had long red acrylic nails at the time. When I went to cut the red pepper, I accidentally cut a big chunk of my red nail, um, but I mean I saw it right away and I pulled it out. It's not like it was in with the peppers, you know? Paul, you shouldn't be concerned at all. This is a yellow pepper. You honestly could choose any combination of peppers, your little heart desire, but this is the combo I picked because the first time I ever made it, these were the two I picked and I just like uh, routine and tradition. So you didn't discuss about what kind of edibles or marijuana that you smoked today. What oh, did you wow, do? I totally forgot. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, so I took, so my tolerance has really gone down um, ever since I took that four day tolerance break. Um, and actually, I've really only been taking like 40 milligrams at a time when I've been at home in um, my leisure time. But uh, for this video today, I took 60 milligrams, we took three Breeze tablets, and then we've just been hitting the good old Piper Rooney, you know? It's harvest time. Harvest time? Is that what the kids call it? Everybody's marijuana plants are finished growing. <laughs> you know? Good time to be smoking. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Marijuana? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about it in a medical sense. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I think I'm talking about it in an education stance, and I think they said that that means something. Really? Yeah. Because I think like I could make a video like talking about like what marijuana does. Like what if I was like a doctor? They're not going to demonetize a doctor, you know? And I could be a doctor and be high on marijuana. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. <laughs> 
But, I mean, not only doctors educate, you know? I could educate somebody. Okay, next is our chicken. Okay, see you later. So, uh, I think that I'm on to a Jack in the Box uh, conspiracy. Uh, I don't know if anyone else notices this. Uh, comment down below. But at Jack in the Box, you could get uh, tiny tacos or you could get loaded tiny tacos. Um, and I realized the other day that the tiny tacos and the loaded tacos are different in price by like a dollar. And I know what you're thinking, duh, the loaded tacos obviously have more to them. And so of course they should cost more. But you know what's added to loaded tiny tacos? Jack in the Box's taco sauce. And Jack in the Box's taco sauce, as any true Jack in the Box fan will know, is free. Very free. They give you more sauces than you could ever use in your entire life. I have enough Jack in the Box sauce to feed my next seven generation of children. So why am I paying more? Just get the regular tiny tacos and then just ask for a bunch of free sauce. You don't even have to ask, they'll just pile your bag full of it and then you save a dollar. Try not to get my band-aid wet from my bear accident I had earlier in the mountains. Paul, you should tell the story of um, what happened to you in the woods. <laughs> If you want to hear the ch if you want to hear this story, head over to my channel. Jim Center Ven California style. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> we'll just say the story involves a sign that says "dangerous animal spotted around uh, hike at your own risk" or something along those lines. Yeah, it might have been Paranormal. stalked by a mountain lion and or Big some guy. sort of pa paranormal thing. Oh, I think aliens for 12 for sure. miles. Go check it out. You are going to turn your burners on to medium heat. Next, you're going to drizzle some olive oil into each pan. Oh, that's okay. Hi, buddy. Hi, but no, don't be rude. Hello, hello. So we're just going to add some garlic powder, as much as you'd like. You can add uh, any other seasonings. There's a sauce that's going to go in at the end. God damn, that smells great. You put garlic in it? <laughs> garlic powder. Paul, you just wait. I used to be obsessed with these tahitas. And if you're wondering why I cook them in separate pans, like my mother wonders every time I make this, um, I don't know why. I, one day I was on keto and I was like, I want fajitas, and I didn't Google a recipe, I just was like, this is what I'm going to do, and this is what I've done ever since, you know? So the sauce we're going to be using today is Simply Organic Classic Fajita Simmer Sauce. Um, and I want to talk about why I picked this sauce because I know it can be overwhelming to pick sauces on keto. So I always pay attention to the carb count, of course, but I think more importantly than the carb count is the sugar. Um, I try to never ever eat anything that has three grams or more of sugar. I try to stay under that um, and preferably no added sugar. For me, if there's sugar and stuff, even if the carb count is low, um, it can throw me out of ketosis. So that's why I started using this sauce, only one gram of sugar, no added sugar, and two carbs per serving, which is two tablespoons, and that is, we're just gonna do one serving size today. And it's delicious. Okay, let's go. Our peppers are ready to be transferred. They are, we have a little bit of color to them. Um, you know, they just, they look done. You look at them, you know they're done, okay? What else, what more do you want from them? Okay, so we're going to pour it into our chicken, which we see has a nice color. Our chicken is nice and cooked. And then we're going to add our sauce. It's two tablespoons. And we are going to stir, to combine. 
I hope I didn't splash the sauce on you. <laughs> oh god, I almost stabbed myself with the knife. It happened. Okay. Paul, tell the people how it smells. What's going on? It uh, really does smell the delicious. I smell the garlic. I smell the bell pepper. I smell the chicken. I smell just deliciousness. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm going to add one more tablespoon. It just doesn't seem quite saucy enough. So that's going to add one more carb. So now we got three carbs from our sauce. Which I think is very reasonable for a dinner. Okay, so now that our sauce is thoroughly mixed in, we are going to let this cook and simmer uh, probably about five minutes and really let all the flavors uh, mesh in there, get in a little flavor sandwich. Uh, and then we will come back to try on camera. Where's your camera every time? Where's your camera? It's up here? Yeah. It's, right it's so hard see. to see. Okay. Take two. Paul and I have been spending the last 20 minutes trying to figure out something funny to say, but you guys were just grabbing the tortillas, okay? That's all we got right now. That's all we got. We oh, so you it. totally could t uh, heat up your tortilla. I personally don't. Uh, because I like things cold, like my heart. <laughs> We're gonna open up the world's largest thing of sour cream. And of course you could add guacamole, cheese, jalapenos, olives, whatever you like, but I just like sour cream. Paul, didn't you teach me to do this instead of just putting a blob? You put it on and you spread it around. I forget most things that I date people. Oh, okay. I remember Danny. I, think I got that from you. We were at Jill this one time, uh -huh. and Danny was saying, um, he goes, he put the cold hard butter okay. in a basket mm. of warm biscuits. Oh, that's so smart. And, and I told him, I go, Danny, yeah. that is the most genius thing I've ever and seen. And you told him to do it. And he goes, and he started laughing. And he goes, you're the one that taught it to me. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to scoop our mixture. Okay. And then I'm just going to fold it in half like a taco. Mm. I feel like people are going to hate that I don't heat up the tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> but this is just how I like it. I don't either. I, I agree. Okay. I do too. And it's just, it's more work. I mean, yeah. come on. If you're a busy person, you're working. I'm a busy lady. Nine to five. Who has time to heat up a tortilla? I don't. Set. I sure don't. <laughs> Plus the mixture heats it up. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so I have um, a bit of a love-hate relationship with the fajitas. Um, I used to make this all the time, and then I got food poisoning, because this, there's this side of me that just doesn't really care about expiration dates, <laughs> and like, like one time I had a burger that sat in my car, I had an overnight job, and you know your brain kind of loses steam around 2 a.m., and I had a Wendy's burger that had been sitting in my car for like two days, and I heated it up, and I ate it, and uh, that gave me food poisoning too, but uh, I'm pretty sure one time I just made these, and the chicken wasn't like was expired and I just didn't care and ever since then I can't eat these so I have a feeling I'm gonna take a bite and they're gonna be disgusting to me but I promise they're really good it's just because I had food poisoning one time you know mm-hmm tastes like throw up <laughs> it's not that enjoyable for me too many memories. They're dark memories. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so sad because this used to be the best. We have two bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'll be fine. I just can't have any more. My favorite plate. <gasps> Look at that. Pluto. Isn't that awesome? Pluto's my favorite. Love them. Right there. Do you ever right see there. the pictures of real dogs at Disneyland with Pluto? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like they they think they met their like alpha, you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with my 
my card balance stuff here. So as Kay said, it's always good to put the sour cream, you mix it around. Okay. Instead of just doing a glob after you put the it stuff It just in. makes sense, yeah. yeah. Don't do what's cool, do what makes sense. Brittany, you want to come try it too? Should you and Brittany try it at the same time? So, we're going to fold it over. I'll chew on that one. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. I'll chew. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. It's my fault. <laughs> All right, first bite. Oh, I'm so happy. Sometimes you gotta eat your way through the tortilla to get to the food. You know, I love it. I love fajitas. Uh -huh. To me, it almost tastes very barbecue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that good or bad? It's good. Okay. A little barbecue fajita? I like this. This okay. is good. Brittany, you can just take, taste this one. Yeah. I think it actually, five out of five for me. Brittany, do it on camera. Brittany, do it on camera. Okay. Come right here. Yeah. Only if you want to. I don't want to be on camera. Okay. Oh we can. God. Can we hear your audio? Yeah. Okay. okay. We have Brittany's permission. Did you sign the <laughs> waiver? Did you sign the NDA? Yes. <laughs> we promise she's actually trying it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. Okay. Yeah. Do you agree with Paul about the barbecue flavor? No. Okay. Me either. <laughs> Why is he wet? It's rainy. Keto Kush stamp of approval. Great. I would totally give it the stamp of approval if it didn't um, make me nauseous. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I think it is delicious. If it didn't give me food poisoning. Um, I will see you next week for another keto recipe, and please remember that to be healthy does not mean that you have to stop getting high. See you on the next one! <laughs>